Do you break up the core though, man? Do you break yeah, up the I core do. to fill in the? Do you break up the core to get a better backup goalie? Do you break up the core? I break to up bring the core. in a defenseman. Here, here's why I break up the core. I break up the core because they're not fucking good enough, and you and you're not going to win with these guys. I'm drawing these conclusions the more and more I see them play. Yeah. How many playoff losses? The Columbus loss in the bubble, like just the way they, just the way they, their mentality overall. They're not going to fucking win. End of story. Period. It's not going to happen. So if you're not going to win a Stanley Cup, like, let's be serious here. Are they beating the Florida Panthers in a seven-game series? No, they're fucking not. No, like, they're I, not. I'm sorry. They're not going to fucking do that. So are they going to win four rounds in the playoffs? Not a goddamn no. fucking chance. They'll be lucky to make the playoffs. I think they're scratching at a wild card at best here. I really believe that. Well, unless, where they are right now, unless it, they can turn this turn this ship around. Unless Marazic comes back and he kills it and Campbell, like unless the goaltending is like fucking Vesna level and they just keep them like in the hunt. I mean, okay. Is Austin eventually going to score? Sure. Does Mitch snap out of this? I don't fucking know. How many times have we talked like about, there's too many question marks. There's no clear cut answer as to this. These 10 things have to go right for them to have success. Well, that's probably yeah. not going to happen. That's probably not going to happen. And like I was like I was and, saying, like and, I was and saying earlier, and the pressure's on. When has oh. when have they ever performed when the fans and the pressure is put on? They always blow it. Do you remember a few years ago when John Tavares signed? We did a podcast and we were angry. They went into Long Island. Everybody was talking about it. You got to win this one for Johnny. The fans are booing him, calling him pajama boy. What was the score? Six nothing. Oh, they got like, smoked. They, got they smoked. just went and hid. Game sevens. They don't show up. The pressure's on. This season, out of the gate, this isn't just like a little slump where the fans are waiting. Like you said, the no. heat is on. It's a, because it's a carryover. It's, it's a, a carryover. carryover. But are these the guys that are going to, you know, tune out everything around them and turn it around? Or is this just going to keep spiraling and spiraling and spiraling till finally Dubas has got to be like, I got to do something. It's a loser mentality. It's so ingrained in them now. The Montreal loss, being up 3-1, losing in Game 7 the way they did. It was an epic collapse of epic proportions, horrendous loss. That's still in their heads, guaranteed. But then you but go back. How, do, how does that translate to a game like last night? Well, but I'm just saying, just the whole start here. Like, it's at it's starting to pile up, and it's getting – the weight on the back is getting real heavy. To the, the Montreal, point where they can't beat an AHL roster? The, the, to a point where they're – I don't think they think they can – I don't think they can think – I think they don't think they can win. To, like, do they come out and say that? No, there's, they're going to say the right thing. So they're, they're going on the ice last night against Pittsburgh being like, we don't, we can't do it. I don't, well, I don't know about that. But I just or do you think like, it's more Pittsburgh scores the first goal, takes it to them for the first 10 minutes and they just, they're like, fuck, here we go again. Here we go again. We're going to blow it. Maybe once they get down and once it's just not there, like it's not their night, it's not their night. A lot of fucking nights. So when it's not your night, Bring something else to the table to try to fucking do something to help the team win. Don't just fucking give up and fucking fold it. Oh, well, not our night. We'll see you tomorrow. Like, just good teams don't fucking do that. And I, I'm sorry. Look, I just, I don't see it. Like, the Montreal loss in the playoffs, horrendous. Up 3-1, blowing it. The Columbus loss, forcing it into game five, losing like 3 nothing. I don't think they scored a fucking goal in the, in the elimination game. The year before that, the Boston Bruins, they were up 3-2 in that series. They want find a way to lose. They had a lead in game six of that series. They find a way to lose game six. Then they lose game seven. The year before that, Boston again. They had a lead in the third period against the Bruins. They find a fucking way to lose that. So it's one after another, after another, after another. Eventually, it's like, okay, no wonder the fan base is like, it's not six. It's not about six fucking games in the new season. It's about all this shit. Yeah, but with the same fucking guys, the same core fucking guys that have proven time after time after time after time, they can't fucking win when it counts. So not so Dubas didn't change that. Oh, Nick Ritchie, great fucking job. Hey, Cache looks good. Camp looks good. Like, uh, but still, you had guys just as good as them that you had to get rid of to sign these four guys. Hundred percent, like, man. Michael Bunting is great. 
But, and, that, that, and, but and those, those but bringing I, I, in those guys, isn't I would much be- rather have Zach Hyman on the team. I would much rather have Connor Brown still on the team. Those are, I think that's a recipe for winning, but you're sticking, like you said, you're sticking to these guys who can't get it done. Can't get it done. And here we are. Why and you're right. You, it's what? not six games. The fans aren't no. fucking throwing jerseys on the ice because you lost no. against San Jose on a Friday Although night. Although that did happen. I know, but I'm saying that fan didn't throw that jersey on the ice because of a bad loss. That fan is just what you ranted about. That fan is going all the way back to the Boston playoff series, and they're just like, fuck this. Like, fuck this, man. They can't do it. And just, we're, we're not far away from the Egos. We're not. From the waffles and, coming and back. That's right. Waffle Gate 2. Waffle Gate 2. It won't take I much. This, this is a fragile fan base Look, right they're now. Go, they're going next three games, okay? They're in. They're on the road right now. Good thing they're on the fucking road. Good thing that Monday game's not back at home because the Boo Birds would be out in full fucking force. They got Columbus, who's 4-0. and Sorry, not Columbus. They're in Carolina Monday night, who's 4-0, and playing Freddie Anderson. I would almost guarantee a fucking loss on Monday night. I would almost guarantee it. Because want to know why? Carolina's a better fucking hockey team than the Leafs. They work harder. The Leafs barely ever fucking work. So I'm putting a loss on the fucking column right and, there. And Freddie will be top game to play his old team. 100%. So, and then they got Chicago. You mentioned Chicago not playing that great. But United Center, a hard building to play in. And I bet you Mark Fleury just probably has a fucking – his best game of the season against the Leafs on Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, or Chicago just reads the book and it's like, hey, if we just come out and work really right. hard, these guys so will quit. They'll would not be surprised if they lose that Chicago game either. You're back home on Saturday night against Detroit, okay? I, I, I'm i Maybe they win that game, but I'm not fucking well, Montre- Montreal kind of got their a little bit of life put back in them by playing Detroit okay, last night. D- like it's, I was saying to somebody the other day, like it's – Literally, like, even when you're playing Buffalo and Detroit and these teams that, like, you think, like, aren't good, they'll beat you. They will fucking just clear out, clear cut, come out, outwork you, and fucking beat you. Yeah. So, you can't take it. There's no nice it. Keith said it in his press conference last night. He's like, you can't, you can't take any team lightly in the NHL. If you cut no. corners, they will beat you. They will outwork you and they will beat you. And he's like, this team is cutting corners right now. They're trying oh, to do the God. easy, they're trying to do the easy things to to win. They don't want to do the hard things to win. And the other team's like, we'll do the hard things. And they're winning. So depending on where they end up with these next three games, Carolina in Carolina, in Chicago, back home against uh Detroit next Saturday night. Depending on what happens this week, if Marner continues to struggle, if the team continues to struggle. Reading the temperature with Mitch Marner right now in with the fan base, dude, how far away are we from Mitch Marner getting booed at home every time he touches the puck? And oh, I'm being fuck. dead serious. We're not far from that, are we? We are not far. There are a lot of there are a lot of Marner haters right now, like huge, more than I have ever seen. He's t- he's taken it more than since. Like Dion, is that comparable or is this worse than that even? It, I think it's worse because like, I don't know, the team sucked and Dion was the captain. So he just kind of had to face the media and he kind of took the brunt of it. Brunt. But Marner, it's different, man. There is like a hate because as we listened to in that post-game clip, it's the attitude. It's like the attitude of the player and the mentality of the core versus the fans who are so desperate to have a hard-working winning team. It's like, a, do you yeah, want to right, Ma- right. you know why Michael Bunting instantly became like a fan favorite? Because he, he tries? He tries. That's it. Jesus That's it. Christ. He goes to the net and he tries. He's not afraid to take a hit. Do you want to know why we love Wayne Simmons? Because Wayne Simmons, if the going gets tough, he sticks up for his team and he gets in there. Darcy Tucker, you can go back and look at Leaf players throughout history. The ones that we love are the hardest workers. Dougie Gilmore, Wendell Clark, Darcy Tucker, Shane Corson. You go through the list, it's all guys that just gave it every night. They emptied the tank every single night. 100%. And that's all the fans want from these guys. And they've got their backs against the wall and they've got their backs up like, yo, yo, trust the process. Okay, we've got this. It's cool. Yeah, no. So yeah, it's not fan, far fan, off. fan base. No, and we're not far off. Like I would be, I would honestly say, depending on how this week goes, as early as next Saturday, October 30th, at home against Detroit. Depending on how this week goes, 
if it looks like last week and the week before that, I can see it, man. Because the it, the temperature is so fucking hot with Mitch Marner right now. I can see it. Like he's getting to a point where either he's got to figure this fucking thing out or he's out or he's hey, out. Everyone Chad here from the tip and Maple Leafs podcast. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, check out some of our other videos. And if you like those ones, well, why don't you take the like button and give it a little tip, maybe hit the subscribe button, give it a little tip. And then if you like want to listen to the audio version, well, just check out the link in the description below and you can find our podcast in all platforms. You can check out our social media. And if you like those, give them a little tip. Where the tip is.